Are you fucking kidding me? Good evening, folks. So, uh, I was a bit of an idiot in work this week, and I managed to thread the or the thread, if that's the word. I managed to thread the bottom tripod mount on a fairly expensive camera it's a canon 1dx which means that we can no longer use a monopod in work so i've had to be holding hand holding this camera while shooting for three days straight and it needs fixing so as it was sort of my fault there were others as well but i've taken it upon myself to try and sort it out um as you may be aware with the 1DX and the bigger um, pro body DSLRs um, it's the same with Nikon and Canon they have a big beefy battery which slides in the front there um, when you've got the battery out you can just about see inside where the tripod mount is housed inside but I'm not even going to try and get inside there <laughs> um, so I'm going for a hopefully fairly simple and quick, well maybe not quick but easy-ish DIY jobby on it. So on Amazon I found this kit from V-Coil um, which basically includes everything that you should need to get the job done. So they do give you a set of instructions which is very handy. But you basically get a drill bit so we're going to drill out the remaining uh, tap thread inside there so that we've got a smooth surface to work with we're then going to tap the freshly drilled hole and then we're going to use coil these are quarter inch 20 um, if you're looking for the measurements if you literally just search in amazon quarter one over four twenty thread insert system or thread kit something like that you'll get something like this up um numerous brands who do it i don't know why i went for this one it cost me about 15 20 quid and we're going to give it a go tonight so let's crack on first thing that you need to do is just make sure that the camera is stable so I've got mine in a vise here ideally it should be bolted into a surface but this one isn't it was just in the shed um, but I'm confident it's going to be sturdy enough so what we're going to do first is drill out the remaining bits of thread and this will slightly widen the hole in the bottom of the camera but fear not we're basically going to go slow and steady with this we're not rushing it we do not want to go too far into the camera <laughs> um, so we just need a nice smooth surface inside to work with So, also important to note, we are drilling metal here, so if you have it available, I'd highly advise eye protection. So it does make you look cool while you're doing it as well. If not, then, you know, be careful, <laughs> but I would advise eye protection. So, let's give it a go. Remember, slow and steady. Another important thing to note here is make sure you've got a lens or body cap on the camera. You do not want any metal shavings getting into the sensor <laughs> at all. Um, so even here today myself, obviously it's a Canon body, I brought it home with the lens on. 
I've only got Nikon caps, but at least it's the right size. I've just gaffer taped it on. Nothing's getting in there, so we're good to go. Right on. It can take a bit of a tap. Just a little bit further to go. think we're there. I'm just going to get a few bits of scrap metal out of there. Yep, superb. Okay, so as you may well be able to see here, we now have a perfectly smooth hole in the bottom of this camera. So the next step is to tap the new thread, which is a slightly larger thread, it'll be for a 3 8 inch, into this hole. And then from there, we'll be able to insert a coil to create the smaller thread. So at this stage, it's probably quite safe to lose the goggles. Um, ideally, you still want to have your camera secured because um, we will be applying a bit of force or pressure onto it. So the next piece of kit that we need is the tapping bit, I think you call it. Um, ideally, you'd want a tapping wrench as well. I did actually order one for this job, but it was too small. <laughs> So I'm going to settle for a uh, vice grip. It should do the job. It will at least give me some sort of pivot um, to work with. So yeah, let's get going. So now with this, really, you just want to take it nice and slow, just a little bit at a time. So let's set this up. Pretty secure. So I'd probably just turn it maybe a quarter turn and then back a little bit and just carry on going like that. You can feel it already digging in. Yeah, just moving it back that little bit just allows it to take some of those metal shards and just pop them out of the way a little bit. Okay, so let's see where that's got us, I think. It's looking decent, it's got a little way to go yet though. Okay, 
Okay, so same again, just going slow and steady. Should be able to see inside now. You can just about see, I think, that new thread. I don't know if you can see it on the video or not, but we put the new thread in there. So now we can start turning the coil in to give it to get it back to a quarter inch thread. Okay, so you can probably tell slowly I was doing that because it's pretty much starting to go dark now. The sun's near enough setting. So next job, we're going to use one of these coils as well as the provided tool to insert it. So what we do is pop the coil, you can see on one end the coil turns inwards. That will slot through the turning tool that they give you and then that should find its threading inside and thread down. You may need to find the start of it first yourself before getting the tool on it. There we go, so that's turning down now. Should go near enough all the way down. There we go. Are you fucking kidding me? And the tool just broke. That's good. I'm going to find some magnets. <sighs> Maybe they're not the only tools that you need. Would you know they're not even magnetic? Be kidding me. The tools beating me. Makes for good in entertainment though. That's most of it. The rest of it's snapped off inside. And it's still rolling. You're in it. Okay, so just so you can see this. The under the provided turning tool has got stuck snapped off and got lodged inside the hole there. So I'm trying to pry these out but they don't seem to be having any of it. happened again. I'm yeah, so bad at this. It's basically my A camera, the full frame, as in showing me in the frame. I was pressing record to stop and I thought I was stopping when I was pressing record. So I missed a load of footage. Basically, long story short, I fixed it, but the tool broke. So 
that's gone back it's on its way back to amazon or who, whoever sent it off getting my money back and it did the job i just wouldn't be able to do it again with the same kit so there we are um so i think the moral of the story is well don't completely thread your tripod mount in the first place but secondly don't buy cheap tools off amazon to try and fix a expensive piece of kit um there we are got it done so thank you very much for watching i hope you've taken something from it learned something from it um if you're in the same situation then i'm sure it's an option for you to get it fixed um yeah hit like if you liked it feel free to hit dislike if you disliked it do it twice and i'll see you in the next one ta -ra. Thank you.